I tell you what, this is bonkers, this country, you know. Why are they going to... It's 40,000 per bong, right, a Big Ben. What have we got to celebrate? What has this country got to celebrate coming out of Europe with 11 bongs? <laughs> I think all, the, the country's bonkers, man. It's it, it, around a twist. Bonkers. There's nothing to, be, there's nothing to celebrate... Coming out of Europe. Well, there, well, there is if you if you voted Leave, I guess. No, there's no. What's to celebrate? People, loads of th- thousands of people well, could lose their jobs. Let's, is that something to celebrate, like? If you believe that would happen, obviously not. Let, well, let's ask the former Brexit minister, Suella Braverman, what is there to celebrate and do you think that Big Ben should bong? And are you going to bung a bob so Big Ben can bong? I've practised that so often today. That could go wrong in many ways, couldn't it? Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I think there is, Sean, a lot to celebrate. We we will be celebrating our independence. We will be celebrating a repatriation of power. Yeah. We will be celebrating the beginning of an exciting new chapter in our democratic history. We'll be the first country, pretty much, which has left the European Union. Greenland's often often cited, but it's not really a proper example. To have left the European Union forge, to forge a new, new destiny ourselves as a self-governing uh, autonomous nation. Huge possibilities for trade, for democracy, for law and order, for, for laws, for regulations, um, for migration. A great, a great reason to celebrate. And I, I really hope uh, that the bells uh, and Big Ben do bong uh, so that we ring in this bright new future in the appropriate manner. And £500,000 it's going to cost. Now, um, do you think taxpayers' money should be spent on that? Well, the Prime Minister has been clear that he wouldn't be averse to it being crowdfunded. Um, well, there isn't but- much time. There isn't, no, but there's already been some significant donors who have made it very clear that they could uh, support this financially. Um, I think the cost is due to the fact that it's under restoration and under scaffolding at the moment and there may well be works which are contracted and they might need to be rearranged and there are knock-on costs to that. But I I do think that this is a a momentous moment, a momentous occasion for our country. It's hard fought, it, it marks the beginning of a new chapter and I think uh, and particularly one, a chapter of unity uh, and the end of these divisions, which I hope will be put to an end. Um, but I think we should be marking Brexit Day okay. with, with Big Ben. Um, so, David Van Day, at 11pm on the 31st of January, who will you be with in the moonlight? Uh, <laughs> I think we should spend uh, on fireworks, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I'm, I'm a fabulous firework display. I know we've just had one for New Year. Another one? Yeah, but what it does, it tells the world, we're ready for business, we're free, we're ready for you, come and get us. Well, I, when I, I have to say, when I got off the plane, I got in here on Friday night, I got off the plane and I was listening in the taxi on the way in from, from the airport to, um, to LBC, and people started talking about this, this, I'm not even going to try and say it, what is it? <laughs> bunga, bunga, bunga Bob for a bomb. That one. I thought I'd landed on April Fool's Day. I thought this was... The, I'm with Sean in, entirely. I thought this was the craziest thing I'd ever heard. However, I've come round to a new thought on this, which is, if you want to do it, go crazy. You can, you know, bong the bells. But I think that then every radio station in the country, including this one, should then be required right off the back of it to have a ceremonial reading of For Whom the Bell Tolls. Oh, dear. <laughs>